hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we'll be creating a simple 3d business card mockup in blender all right and for the cherry on top we do hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we'll be creating a simple 3d business card mockup in blender and for the cherry on top today we'll be doing a bit of animation as well all right and today's tutorial is actually very much beginner friendly so if you are a newbie to blender then this tutorial is best for you all right now before we jump into the video i'd really appreciate if you can you know subscribe to the channel like the video as well and click on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video in the near future all right so without further ado let's just jump into today's tutorial all right so before we get started i've broken down today's video into six simple steps all right so before we start designing our animated cuts uh, we need to first of all get comfortable with blender all right so if you haven't already installed blender i've linked it in the description below once you are all set open up blender and then let's move on so in the first step we are going to launch blender and then i'm going to give you a brief tutorial about how to navigate in blender and then we are going to talk about the overview briefly of the viewport and then some properties and then the outline as well in the step two we are going to add a mesh we are going to adjust the dimensions and then we are going to do some extrusions as well in that um, in the step three we are going to add a text we are going to edit the text content and then we are going to adjust the font size import and then we are going to position our logo so there is a high chance that in the step three we are going to do it in a graphic suit as in it's going to either be in photoshop adobe illustrator or probably affinity designer but i'm if i'm i'm an affinity user so i'm definitely going to use affinity but if you get to step three you can always use any of the you know graphic suits all right so step four we are going to move to animation we are going to add a couple of keyframes and then we are going to create some rotation animations and then we are going to customize our animation speed as well so that we can have that smooth you know animation that you saw in the beginning of the video and then in step five we are going to add our light source and then we are going to adjust our light settings we are going to also set up our camera angles and then we are going to have our render settings too all right so in the step six we are, we are just going to choose our file format to export our animation and then we are going to end it right there all right so let's get moving already so as you can see i'm using blender 3.1.2 any version from 2.8 upwards is very good all right so to get started let's just click on general all right and then as usual you are presented with your default cube your light and your camera all right so as as you can see i'm actually rotating around my cube and to do that you can use the middle mouse button and to zoom in or out you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse all right so i always advise that you get a mouse if you want to use blender easily or comfortably because if you don't have a mouse i think it's going to be very difficult so uh the middle mouse button to rotate in your viewport the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and then you can use the middle mouse button whilst holding shift to pan around in your viewport like so all right so basically that, that is how you move around in the 3d viewport all right all right so let's continue so on the upper right corner you can see a small box over here that is the outliner like every graphic suit where you have an outliner that displays your layers and stuff in blender this is our outliner it displays our list of objects in the scene so over here we have the light the cube and then the camera as well as you can see so when i click when i click them in the outliner you can see that they, they are clicked or they are selected in the viewport as well so that's our outliner and then that is the scene collection you can always add a new scene collection and then name it anyhow you want all right with the simple shortcut m all right so press m on your keyboard and then you get a pop-up pan that asks you to create a new collection all right so that's just about the outliner under the outliner you can see the properties panel where you have a list of tools or properties you have the render properties you have the output properties you have the view layer properties and all of that i can't mention all of them but you can go through them and then just get to know them all right so any object that you click the properties panel also adjusts to that specific object all right so this is where we are we are going to be adding our modifiers and adding a bit of 
tweaks to our model and then on the left side of the screen you can see that we have a list of tools we have the move the rotate we have the scale and then we have the transform that's the move rotating scale all together all in one and then the last three are the annotate and then the measure and then the add cube i hardly use them but they are also tools in blender that you can also use as well all right so uh i want to keep this video very short so as we go along i'll be also mentioning a couple of beginner tips that i think you should keep note of all right so let's let's get started already so to get started i already um compiled a couple of reference images and i took them into pure ref and then i i just um took inspiration from them and then how i want the animation to be so let's get started already so let's just add in a uh, let's just create uh what do you call it a card already so to get that let's first of all delete the default cube x delete and shift a and then we are going to choose plane all right and then let's move to the top view all right as you can see i moved to the top view using the tilde key so if you don't if you want a shortcut for the top view that's seven on numpad and i think one is for the front view and then three is for the opposite also the right okay three is for the right one is for the front and then nine is for the back orthographic view so seven is for the top orthographic view okay all right so we are going to scale our plane on the x sorry we are going to scale our plane on the y axis like so just a little bit like this uh like so like this is enough for me right about here and then let's add a bevel modifier then the bevel modifier will be at the vertices not the edges so something like this and then let's increase the segment a little let's keep it at five i think that's smooth enough and now let's apply the bevel modifier after that we are going to add a solidifier modifier and let's keep it fairly short like so something like this is okay and then we are going to add another bevel modifier increase the segment a little and then add a subdivision modifier like this and then keep it at two okay all right so this is what we want but i feel like the card is a bit too fat so let's scale it in a little then let's apply the scale all right and it feels too long too all right so this is okay all right so before we move on let's first of all let's save our object so Control s to save then i'm going to save my projects where blender working files i'm going to give it as animated business cards so i'm going to save it as animated business cards okay okay so now that we have that done we need to now position our cards and then move on to our animation all right now that we are done with modeling the cards now before we move into the the graphics with all the all the design software to design the the business card i want us to first of all creates uh, a, comp a composition for the card all right so i have i had this idea where there was a mobile phone lying on the side and the card was lying on it as in diagonally i think I, I'll, I'll show you to you right now all right in just a second so i think this is how it was and um that is how i want to start the position from that's how i want the card to start from its resting position so to do that i'm going to go to one of these free 3d websites and then i'm going to download a mobile phone which we are going to use in the composition so um let's go let's go all right hold on All right, so I got a free um, smartphone model. 
All right, so I've got a free smartphone model from Sketchfab, which I've, I've downloaded. So if you want to use the same model or if you want to use the same, um, if you want to use the same object in your scene as well, I'll leave the link in the description of the video so that you can download it and then you can get it and follow along the, the tutorial as well. So I'm going to first of all, before I bring in the phone, I'm going to first of all add in a cube like so, shift a cube. And then I'm going to go to the font view. I'm going to bring the cube down on the Z, Z axis like so. Just a little beneath the card like so. Just so it, I can have the card look as if it's resting on it. All right, something like this. And then I'm going to scale the cube on the X and Y. Sorry, the X and Z axis like so. Okay, and this is how we are. This is how we want it to be. This is how I want it to be okay and then at this point i'm going to i think i need to change my shading options so with the arrow on the right corner around here you can click on it to change your shading options so i'm going to change it to matte cap and then i'll keep it as random just so i can see my objects in the scene and then i'm going to click the shadow click cavity as well okay so i'm going to click on the card and then i'm going to come to the top view I'll bring my card to this side like this and then rotate it like so. Okay, and then I'm going to place it right about here. So at this point, I'm going to bring in the phone. So I'm going to click on file, import, and then I got this, I got it as an FBX. So I'm going to choose FBX. Then I'll uh, find the phone. Where did I place the phone? Uh, I think Blender stuff, uh, smartphone should be here. Yep. Okay, so I think this is the phone. Mm, yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to let me rotate it. Okay, that's the back. This is the front. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm going to place the phone around here. Um, somewhere like this place it's around here okay and then let's move to the top i'm going to rotate it like so okay and then i'm going to change the what do you call it the transformation to the local so that i can move it like this move it back like so, a little bit and then i'm going to have i'm going to rotate the card let me go to the front view I'm going to rotate the card so that I can um, rest on it. So something like this. I think I should reset the rotation. Yeah, and then let me rotate it like this. And I'll come to the top view and I'm going to rotate it like so. Uh, let me just rotate it again. Sorry. Rotate. Like so. I think I should bring it up, rotate it again, bring it down a little, rotate again. Bring it down so you can hold the shift key whilst you move it just so you can rotate it or move the object slightly. Like so, I think I should move it up a little. Let's check in. All right. So this is how I want it to be. So I'm going to save it again. So this is the composition that I had in mind. And uh, let me check if this is perfectly positioned. All right. And before we continue, I want to position my camera as well. So I'm going to scale the cube again like this. And I'm going to position my camera. So I want my camera to watch it from this angle. 
But before that, I need to do something. One more thing. I, we need to add a backdrop also. So let's uh, uh, so let's add a plane. So shift A, mesh plane. And I'm going to bring the plane down like so. And then I'm going to scale it up to make it quite big. Uh, like so. Um, right about here. It's okay. And then I'm going to tap into the edit mode. Select this side. And then before that, let me just move to the top view. Then I'm going to rotate the plane like so. Uh huh. You are you. I think you understand why I rotated it that way as we go on. So I'm going to extrude this side like so. Move it up a little, and then I'm going to give it a bevel modifier. Increase the amounts. Increase the segments too, and then give it and then shade smooth. Then I think I should move it back a little. All right, so let's bring the camera in. So I want the camera to come in like so, facing the top, like this. So at this point, I'm going to press Shift Alt Zero on my keyboard to snap my camera to view, and I think this is okay. But then let me. I think I should bring the cube. Let me see. Should move the cube to this side a little. Then move it in the Y axis also a little. Just so I can zoom in with the camera on the card. So let me select. I'm trying to select the camera. Okay. Then let's zoom in a little. Okay. I need to keep it in frame like so so i think i should bring this one also back a little like so all right so this is that's quite okay uh, let me see this angle is also not so bad angles control odds zero okay 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 so let's move this back all right so one more thing one other thing that i normally do when i'm working is that i split my screens just so i can see what what what's what i'm working with so i'm going to split this side too all right so i'm going to press zero on my keyboard and i'm going to keep this side in the screen view just the screen view and then i'm going to turn off all the overlays over here just so i can see what i'm doing all right so this is what i want and then over here i'll be tweaking and making some changes and so let me make let me take this back a little and and then let me move this into i think i think the position is okay all right i think i should move the, oh god all right so great 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 so we are done with this all right, so we are done with this. And then the next thing we need to do is to add our image and then add our lighting and do a couple of things. All right. So let's jump into Affinity Designer and then let's design our business card. All right. So just to make our video quite um just to make our video shorter and a lot more simpler i'm going to fast forward this side of the video then i hope maybe you can just watch and learn something but then i'll also leave a link to the business card that i will design in the link so that if you want to use it as well feel free to use it and then if you ever post it on social media feel free to also you know tag me or you know you can send it to my dm or something yeah or you can tag me on instagram as the artora and then i'll make sure to share it on my profile as well so i'm just going to start with a square dimension so um
okay so now that we are done designing the business cards now we need to add a material to the business card in blender and then we are going to add the the design or you know the image as a material onto it so let's move to the shading tab immediately let's move to the shading tab all right so here we are in the shading tab so, so as you can see almost all of our objects don't have any materials yet and we don't have any light in the scene either so this is the look dev mode if you have to move to the rendered mode i'm sure that you will not see anything except okay there is a light here yeah so we are going to so select the card and then let's add press new to add a material to the card and then shift a and then we are going to add an image texture select the image texture node and then we are going to press ctrl t on the keyboard to give it the mapping and then the texture coordinate and then we are going to connect the image texture into the base color all right so at this point it might become pink because there is no image texture yet, or i think it's black on my side so we are going to click on open and then we are going to open our image texture all right so we are going to say let's say uh where did i put it okay it should be here so front so this is it okay so right off the bat you see something happening but this is not how i want it to be so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to select uh, i'm going to go into the the material properties panel then i'm going to click to add a new material and then i'm going to select what they call it i didn't name it okay let me name it material so let me change the name to business card and since we are going to be assigning the business card or the materials to both sides of the card what i'm going to do is that i'm going to tap to go into the edit mode and then with the new material that i created i'm going to select the business card i created i'm going to duplicate it and then i'm going to select all the faces and i'm going to click on so but before that let's apply the solidify modifier let's apply the solidifier modifier all right so tap to go into the edit mode select all the faces and then add the material properties let's click on assign <clears throat> so now that we have that assigned so i assign that because i want the edges of the business card to have the purple color so that it can seem it can fade in seamlessly all right so you understand that um, very soon so at the top i want this business business card to be at the top so i'll select uh, this face at the top and then i'll select this business card business card then assign it all right now let's come over here and then with this material selected let's go into the uv editing tab okay and so while we are in the uv editing tab you can move into the look dev or the material preview so that you can see what you are doing so let me look in from the camera i want it to so let me select the face then i haven't unwrapped it so let me press u unwrap all right so i'm going to select all the or select this face and i'm going to rotate it like so i think it should be the other way around yeah rotate it like so and i'm going to place it right about here scale it in a little bit like so All right, so that is what I want. All right, very good, very good, very good, very good. So we can go back into the shader, shader editing tab. And then let's move to the back of the plane. Then let's add another material. And then with that material, it's going to be the same thing. Let's add the business card again. But then this time, we are, going to we are still going to duplicate it. All right, so we have business card 002. But this time, it's going to be less rename this card the back and then let's name it back and then let's name this one front and let's name this one mid uh, mid okay so let's move to the back of the business card 
then let's select select this one move to the back and then let's add a new uh business card so this is the back that's i created so i'm going to select this back then click on open image after clicking on open image i'm going to select with this face selected with this face selected i'll click on assign all right so so you can see that there is okay i think this one gave me all right select or oh, assign select the back assign select the front assign. so with the back selected let's go and let's go to the uv editing tab let's make some changes to the back let's go to the back and then let's see what we have so i'm going to press u on the keyboard on wrap as usual then select all rotate like this okay let's move this here I'm not seeing anything happening. Why am I not seeing anything happening? Okay. Let me move this down a little. Scale it in like so. Then we have something like this. Okay. So if we should rotate. So now that we are done with the business card let's check it out over here as you can see it's already working so um i actually chose a, a, a particular color palette for the design and so i'm going to bring that in in the shading tab right now so over here i'm going to click on the open click on open then uh i don't know if i okay so let's go back to the layout all right so now the next thing we have to do is to add our lighting so let's go to the rendered view and then let's add our lighting so the first thing we are going to do is that we are, we are going to select this light let me change the orientation to global select this light bring it up i'm going to change it to an area light alt r to reset its <clears throat> position scale it up like so increase the power to say Mm, let's say 50,000 like so and then I'm going to bring it up just so it can like it, it can keep the backdrop lit like so and then we are going to shift D bring this down alt R so this particular light is for the scene itself all right so I'm going to bring it around here bring it here place it here okay okay scale it up a little and um, let's bring this down so let's look through the camera and see something let's see what we have over here and then let's decrease the power to see like 30,000 I think that's a bit too bright and then we are going to add another light so this light will come from the side i think the right side of the camera of the what do you call it the business card so i'm going to place it do it around here then let me go to the phone view rotate it like so and to the top view rotate it like so then i'm going to bring it in so it is like this okay i think i should change it to a sports light instead then let's bring the size down now let's keep it at forty thousand.
and then let's make, increase their blend and what else um, so we need to add a rim light too and uh, I don't know how I'm going to add a rim light since you have a sports light in here so let me place this here and then let me shift D this and then I'll let this one come from the back so that will be the rim lights I'm going to place this around here like this Okay, let's go to the top. Rotate it. It's a little right about here. Okay. So I think let me keep this at twenty thousand. Then this one. Let me decrease the size. okay okay all right so with that done let's begin to add some materials so let's select our background and then let's add uh let's add a material so with the background i'm going to let me move to the shading tab separate and separate and then let's move to the shading tab let's select the background and then i'm going to give it a dark orange color Kind of bright but dark so this is what i want and then i'm going to increase the roughness to the top like so i want the scene to be quite colorful actually so i'm going to also what else what else the specular bring the specular down and then i'm going to select the card too so the cards i'm going to increase the roughness to decrease the specular as well then the front as well it increase the roughness decrease the specular as well oh i think i should let me increase the specular just a little bit let's keep it at zero let's keep it at 0 0.4 and then let's keep this on to at 0 0.4 So the materials are not any tedious or any you know any kind of materials that requires a lot of notes they are just basic simple materials all right so and then with the cube too i'm going to increase the roughness decrease the specular letter and then i'm going to give it a bit of um, texture i'm going to give it as gray i don't know if i should give it as gray or give it a color uh let's see Seems like at this point I'm not seeing any shadows. Let's switch to cycles and see what we have. Let's turn on ambient occlusion, screen space reflections. So let me see. Let's delete this one, this light. See if we can have some shadows. Control B. All right, so let's see, let's see what we have. Control S to scale, uh, to save. Mm, okay, I think that's okay.
All right, so let's go ahead and start animating our business card. So let me turn on. Uh, all right. So select the business card. And, uh, All right, so for the animation, need about four frames. So, select the camera. All right, so I'm going to look to the object so i'm going to this is the business card so i'm going to rename this as business card so let me change this to the timeline and then let's start animating so i need the camera so i need the business card to move up whilst rotating smoothly softly something like that so i'm going to move to the front view so I'm going to in, insert keyframe I to insert keyframe for the rotation and then I'm going to insert keyframe for this location and rotation for the card too and I'm going to move to say frame 40 and I'm going to move the card up a bit, like so. And then let me change this to 3D viewport so I can look through the camera right here. Then I'm going to select the camera, select this insert location, fit the camera a bit to face the card, like so.